What up, dude bros? I'm Frank. This is a video review of the Twin Slice in the Chop Stock. The Chop Stock is an in-strike compatible stock attachment thing with an axe built in. And the Twin Slice is a rail attachment with these detachable foam discs that are super flexible and you can throw them like a ninja. Super cool. Let's get into the review. Included with the Chop Stock is, is just the Chop Stock. Included with the twin slice is the unit itself, some assembly required, and two foam little discs. Assembly is fairly straightforward, you just line up the shell pieces and squeeze, and it snaps together. This is not intended to be removable or detachable, it's just detached for shipping purposes. Now to the product overview, starting out with the chop stock. The chop stock is a shoulder stock for Nerf blasters, so of course it has the in-strike attachment point up in the front, which allows you to quickly connect it to Nerf blasters. And not just zombie strike works with normal blasters as well. This is an adjustable stock. It's in the full length position right now, but you can push this orange button to collapse. Three position stock. This is all the way compressed, the middle, and all the way out. In the fully extended form, it's quite lengthy. I often give the retaliator stock a hard time because it's so small, it's impractical for most body types. An adjustable stock is the perfect solution. So for giant people, you can extend it all the way. And for my play style and how this foam actually sits on my face, I prefer the middle position. And I'm a hair under 6'4", so I have lengthy arms. So not many people are gonna need the fully extended like form. But it can compress and be really small if the retaliator stock actually happens to fit you. And this locking point is actually strong. The stock doesn't collapse under force, like the old Raider stock. That's important if you're using a spring blaster, especially an upgraded spring blaster, and you want to rest the blaster up against your shoulder. When you prime back the priming handle, you're applying so much force because of the upgraded spring, the stock will actually collapse, which is super uncomfortable. So major props to Nerf for, you know, making that nice and strong. So it doesn't collapse unless you push the button, and then it's super easy. Enough on the stock part, let's get to the chop part of the chop stock, which is the axe. So this thing has a foam tip on both sides, so when you hit something, you're not striking them with plastic. What does that mean? When you're running around nerfing, you can totally do a Halo-style melee and just completely smack a Zambi in the face. <laughs> I can hear the hit marker in my head, though, like visualizing that Zambi just going Zambi just going However, I want to be clear about the materials of this stock because it's not totally safe to actually use as a melee toy. This is an alert I touch on every time I talk about like a melee toy. Even if most of it is foam, if you strike a friend with plastic, it's going to hurt like a lot. Furthermore, if you look at the stock, only the, the gray tips here are foam. Everything else is plastic. And because there's only like an inch of foam, there's very little compression going on compared to every other Nerf melee toy out there. When you hit somebody with a Nerf sword, the whole entire sword will collapse a little bit and flex. And that diverts some of the energy from your like melee attack like away from your friend who you're smacking with the melee toy. Without that being absorbed, it just goes all into your friend. So you could really cause some damage and like hurt somebody with this. Not if you're doing this, but when I use a melee toy, I'm just like hitting people. I have to nerf the item, not nerf my attack mech, man. That's why we nerf, so we can go full speed and not hurt anybody. <laughs> so just need to be super clear, there really isn't that much flex. I would not recommend like a full speed impact against anything alive. But I'm not really complaining about the design of the product because this bit right here is plastic. If this was foam and the entire axe part was foam, then it wouldn't be stable enough to use as a shoulder stock. When you rested it against your shoulder, it would flex and collapse and be kind of lame. So I totally get why they made it all out of plastic, but I'm just giving you a heads up. You really can't use this as a melee toy to go full speed unless you're using extreme caution. Safety warning over. Back to the review. Overall build quality of the chop stock is fantastic. To the overview of the twin slice. The twin slice is a rail attachment accessory. It has a rail attachment point up here. So it's able to slide on to any other in-strike tactical rail like that. Now it looks super cool just as like a cosmetic piece because it looks intimidating, kind of like a chainsaw with these like blade things. I mean, that looks scary. However, the base unit is all plastic. So this part is not foam. This is not designed to be used as like a melee chainsaw at all. But these little orange discs inside pop out like this. So to be clear, all of this is plastic. None of that is safe to use as a melee product. But these little guys are really lightweight, flexible foam. And I would say totally safe to throw as fast as you can throw it at somebody. Just like those modulus uh, sock bombs, those little rectangles, they're very lightweight. And the limiting factor there is how hard you can throw it. Because it's so light, there just isn't enough mass to really cause damage. But those sock bombs weren't aerodynamic, so you'd throw it and it would just kind of like halt, spiral, and then fall. So you couldn't really throw them beyond like 10 feet. These being like little discs, you can zip them and like throw them like frisbees and you can get some decent range out of them. So in my opinion, it's like the upgraded sock bomb or like those modulus socks. You have dramatically increased range or like throwing performance, but no extra risk. Like you can't damage somebody more with these than those other modulus sock bombs. These are foam and pretty flexible, uh, but they're rigid enough to hold their shape so that it's not going to like flip out of control and like be terrible to frisbee. However, skill is involved. This is not a skill that I particularly have. I've actually thrown ninja stars and I've thrown a frisbee quite a bit and I can do both of those fairly well. This is a very different skill. So you'll certainly have to teach yourself how to throw these if you want to hit somebody 
somebody at like 15 feet or something. More on that in the firing demo, back to this product. Now up here you have the two little bays that hold your little uh, ninja blades. And these are just fit in with pressure, so you can just push in like this. It's a really great balance of holding the disc really tightly, so under like extreme like parkour or whatever, that thing's definitely not gonna come out. But it's not so tight that you're like yanking on it. It's super fast to grab. So great as an emergency backup. Uh-oh, your blaster jams, you ran out of ammo or anything, and his ambi's super close, you just pull it out and disc them. And to disc them, is that a verb? To throw the disc, to like propel, to disc them. Yeah, man, that's gonna be a term now. I'm gonna disc you so hard, bro. <laughs> I'm moving on. So really great balance of securing it and being able to draw it very quickly. So that's the overview. It really is just a disc holder with two foam discs. Cosmetically super cool, but no other little features or gizmos to talk about. So let's see them out on the range. Your results might vary. Two, two, freaking sniper ninja. Using these two products is a blast. Now the chop stock is pretty much just a stock that you can melee people with, but super serially, be very careful. This foam is not as flexy or forgiving as most Nerf melee toys. The twin slice on the other hand is super safe. You could throw this pretty much as hard as you can and it's unlikely you'll hurt anybody. Of course, always wear eye protection when you're nerfing. That just goes for dark battles or these or anything. It doesn't take a whole lot of mass or a whole lot of velocity to completely F up a human eye. So safety glasses always, but outside of your eyes, this striking your skin or anything, it's not going to hurt. And that's just because there's not enough mass here. The accuracy and the velocity of the discs will completely be based on your skill and like how fast you want to throw them. And because it's dependent totally on the user, not even going to try with the chronograph readings. Overall opinion on the twin slice and the chop stock on both products, positive. The chop stock looks super cool. I think it's an awesome addition to the Zombie Strike series. I like that it's just like a non-proprietary attachment point. So you can put this onto any blaster you'd like. I think it looks super cool. I don't think it's as safe as other melee toys, which I've said like five times now, but as a cool looking stock just to intimidate somebody, like it does a really good job at that. It's a very stable stock. It's adjustable to fit any like body size. So even if I don't intend to hit somebody with it, I'd totally put it on a blaster just because it looks awesome. The Twin Slice product is also awesome. Throwing these little discs is super fun. I'm not very good at it, but it's really fun to do and kind of entertaining. And I can see myself pulling this out and then having like a standoff, like the, the intense eye contact, like. <laughs> So it's like an intense moment and then somebody gets to try to dodge it, I try to get to hit somebody and even if they're standing still, I would probably miss. But it would be super fun nonetheless. I think they're a great upgrade over those modulus sock bombs. I like the idea of those, but you really couldn't throw them that far because they're just limited. This is a great compromise because it's lightweight, low mass, so you can't really cause damage on somebody, but you can still throw it pretty far. And I think the little holding mechanism looks pretty cool. The biggest downside I can see about a product like this is you're spending quite a bit of money for a really cool contraption with proprietary like discs. And because they're foam, they will wear down. Somebody might step on them, you might lose it. And it's a wearable component, sort of like your Nerf darts. You don't expect your nerf darts to last forever, eventually they'll wear out and you have to buy new ones. And to my knowledge, they don't sell just the discs, so then you might have like a disc holder, and I don't think that looks nearly as cool without the little like blades inside. But you can make that cost assessment for yourself. My reviews are designed around the objective information, but very innovative, unique, awesome attachments by Nerf. Just when you thought, what other modulus attachment could we even ask for? Because they have so many of them now. They come out with these, saw them both at the toy fair, and I was like, whoa, like we didn't even think of those. Those do look awesome, and it was a fantastic surprise. So I'm stoked that they're finally in the market. That concludes my video review of the chop stock and the twin slice if you'd like to purchase either of these products again they're sold separately i'll put buy links in the description box below thanks so much for watching bros and as always stay tactical